What up, YouTube? It's your boy Sinister coming back at you with another episode of New York City Drama Tales and Lifestyle. Uh, this is part four. Now, I was telling you in part three that I had a custody case going on, and um, I was in family court, child support court, uh, housing court. I was doing web, I was doing CDL class, and I was doing um, TCI because I was trying to get into college because I uh, wanted to show the course that I wasn't playing. I was really trying to get back on my feet. I was out of work. And um, the reason I ended up out of work was because um, I used to do like loss prevention at CVS Pharmacy, you know, running around catching shoplifting and stuff like that. And um, I got a letter from you know, I got a letter in the mail about uh, child support and stuff like that going to court. So baby moms called me with the drama. Of course, like, um, oh, did you get your letter? So I'm like, yeah, I got my letter. And she's like, oh, don't feel bad. I'm taking, you know, my son's youngest brother, baby father. So I'm like, I'm not worried. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You want to you wanna go this route? Fine. You know what I mean? And I'm like... Um, I want to start seeing my son. Oh well, you know, um, you see him when I when I when you see him when I say so. I'm like, no, it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? Like, you're not just gonna get child support and think I'm not gonna go fighting to, to see my seed. You know what I mean? So, um, the, so boom, that went about. We went to court and everything like that. So they ordered me to pay the child support. I right, no problem. You know what I mean? Whatever. So I'm like, yo, let me see my son. That was a art. That that was a whole battle in itself. So I said, I, right, you know what? Since you want to play this game and you want to go this route, I went back to court, petitioned the court to petition her to make sure to, to get the visitation. So let me break this down to all the men out there that's out there that's struggling with the situation. You already know, sinister. On everything I speak about, I I don't had that experience. So I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. This is how this works. One, family court is for the best interest of the child. That's how that works. They want to put the child in the, you know, whoever's going to be the best provider for the child. You know, the, the, the welfare of the child. Is it fair and equal in there? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You know, you can, you can be a, a saint and, you know, they really not, they, they overlook some of the things these mothers is doing with these kids out here. And I, I got a story to tell. So that's the situation with family court. Child support court is the part that deals with the financial aspect when it comes to the child. So, fellas, please listen to me. Listen to me. This is real talk right here. Real talk. You get, you paying child support. And you, you know, you call your baby mom since she's that one that's miserable and she got that drama. You ain't even got to do all that. Go down to your family court. Um, go down to the court building. Put the petition. Go find out what floor. Oh, go ask the court officer. They all know. All you got to do is say, I, right, um, I'm here. I want to put a petition in for visitation. What floor do I go to? It's called uh, visitate, uh, petition for visitation. So you can see your child and they're going to have you do the papers and everything. And they're going to have the court. You can, I think you can select for the court to serve her the papers or you can have somebody serve her the papers. So um, they'll set a date for y'all to show up and then they'll pick the days that is convenient. And let me tell you something. If your baby mom's is drama, listen, I know some of y'all don't like the police. I Trust me, I don't like police from New York City neither. But you know what? I had to. I was picking my son up from my sister's house until one day she she said something to my son and he said it to me and I was you know oh tell your father stop being late or something like that and I'm like yo let me holler at you and then she popped off and start getting loud in the street and her the the dude she was with at that time he's standing there like um he gonna do something you know what I mean so. That was just a setup. So my sister was like, yo, listen, I'm going to let you know right now, just because of this incident right here, she's going to go to the court building Monday morning. 
Monday morning, because this was a Sunday when this happened, Monday morning she going to go and run to the court and she going to get visitation. I mean, not visitation, order protection. Guess what happened? <laughs> she ran down there like Speedy Gonzalez, like the road runner. Like, hey, my baby father threatened, you know, um, what my paper said. Oh, I was staring at her stomach. And I, had, I was reaching in my pocket like I was going to stab. Like, she was pregnant by the other dude at the time. Like, you serious? Like, she she made it like I was going to stab her in the stomach with the with, with 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 her new baby in her stomach. Like, come on, get out of here. Like, I'm just trying to see my son. I'm like, you want the child support money? I want to see my son. Whatever. So, anyway, she got the visitation. So, boom. That that whole that that stopped me from seeing my son. So I'm gonna let y'all know right now why I grind so hard because they've been trying to take me down for a minute with this game. You know what I mean? They've been trying to take me down. They trying to hold us back. They trying to make us statistics in this game. You know what I mean? So this family court game ain't no joke. So when you go in there, you better be clean. Anything social media wise, take it off. She pulled things off of back then. MySpace was popping. She went in there. I had a picture with my squad, my son. I, squ I was squatting down. Back then, I was on my, my street mentality, hood mentality. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, she pulled that up in family court. So, that gave me a black eye. I'm like, you know, <laughs> but lesson learned. And then, um, went back to court. They gave me the days to pick them up. So, now, they moved it from her half, from... The dude she she ended up marrying from to make it easy on them um, instead of driving and dropping them off at my sis. Now they moved it all the way across town to the precinct where she live at. And next thing you know, it's like now I'm taking almost a three hour ride on the city bus and the train to get over there. So it's times where I'm traveling with my son. It's Break cold in the winter, and he's like, Dad, I'm cold. And you know, he dressed warm, but it's like, Don't worry, son. You know, I'm like, I'm telling him, like, Yo, don't worry, this is gonna be over soon. I'm fighting, I'm fighting. And yo, you know, I'm then she start missing visitation days. And when your baby mom's supposed to show up for that visitation, and she don't, that's why I said, Set it at the precinct, you get that report right there. And then NYPD, they old sucker. I, I'm gonna even, I'm not even gonna go there, but they punks. I'm gonna let you know they punks when they, you know, they sit there and they be like, "What you want to report for? What you mean? What I want to report for?" So when I go back to court, I can show them that I was at the precinct because you need that proof and that evidence. I got papers. I got my papers. I'll show you my papers. That's nothing. I got like 14 police reports of the times that he didn't get dropped off. And, you know, my people around my way, like, damn, but you know, where Lil Ann at? You know, let me tell y'all something, man. Everybody quick to want to jump and comment about me being in truck and and I'm doing these videos just so y'all can get a little more understanding of who I am and where I came from. So, y'all can understand why I'm so driven and why I'm so hungry. I, I'm not even hungry no more. You know what? I graduated from hungry to starving. And this is for all my, this is for all my people. That's going through the same situation. Even if you're going through it right now, or you're going you right now, or you've been through it, or you're getting out of it, those who know what I'm talking about know what that pain feels like. You feel me? So before anybody can sit there and talk about how I do what I do on Facebook and YouTube about driving and, and, and helping people motivate themselves. First of all, you got to walk in my shoes before you can say anything about what I do. Believe that. Believe that. I don't, I don't really care what the critics, what you critics got to say. You know what I mean? Because you don't, you're not putting no bread in my pocket to pay my rent. You're not putting no bread in my pocket to continue to pay my Roadmaster truck school loan off. You're not putting no bread in my pocket to build my savings. You're not putting no bread in my pocket to get me out of the projects. So, all of y'all out there who making decisions to better your life and you got those type of individuals that got something like this to say, man, they don't call, they don't fade me in no shape, no shape, form, or fashion. They do not fade me and don't let them fade you. You got to stay focused and locked on your goals. Lock up and lock in. That's it. So, boom. 
Now, you know, the courts is dogging me. They, you know, they looking at me like, you know, oh, he ain't, you, you, you know, you ain't going to never be able to, like, and it wasn't even the court. Like, I remember one saying, like, uh, my son told me one time, like, yeah, you know, it was like, uh, mom, baby mom said, oh, your father will never be able to take care of you financially. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm sitting here in the house. I'm sitting here at my house. I'm paying all this child support. I'm backed up. They killing my check. And then it's like child support for me, the second baby father, she get her own food stamps. The husband getting food stamps because he has some low paying job. Um, they, all three kids is getting food stamps. And I'm over here in my refrigerator on empty. On empty. I'm eating oodles and noodles, franks and beans. You know what I mean? I got a, I got a, a pack of lunch meat, a loaf of Wonder Bread, and the little mayonnaise jar, and, and, and a two liter Pepsi. Over there on the other side of town, oh, they got Boston Market. They eating at Boston Market. They going out, they eating. I'm over here struggling, and the system ain't doing nothing. I'm showing police reports and everything. So, the family court game is a dirty game. And I'm going to let you know, every state gets revenue off of every man that's on child support. And every state, the interest is different on in every state. New York State, I believe, is a 17% interest on your child support. So, I got papers, man. I'm going to bring y'all numbers. I, I, I'm going to bring y'all numbers. So, for all my fellas out there that's going through this situation, you can't see your daughter, you can't see your son, or your, you know what I mean? Yo, keep your head up and fight. Fight. But you got to be on point with your game. You got to be on point. Don't be on social media having pictures of any type of bud, chronic, guns, whatever. Because they're going to dig in it. They're going to dig in it. They're going to try to use they, your baby mom's. Is, she, she, she can investigate in your profile better than the feds can. You know what I mean? Especially when a woman determined to go dig and find something. Hey, the government ain't got nothing. A, the, the government's best supercomputer ain't got nothing on a woman when she want to dig in them, in them, in them uh, social media sites and find info on you. So let me tell y'all, y'all better be on point. Even though they might not know your password, somehow, some way, they get in. So you got to be on point. And um, I'm not going to make this part, this video long, but I just want to... Uh, let everybody know, like, man, I've been through, I've been through some things in life, and before I became a positive person, I was negative, and I felt like I can't just keep bringing y'all the negative stuff. I have to tell y'all and show y'all and talk about the things that that made me so mad, that made me want to have the better life that I want, that makes me look at that big house, that makes me want to have my own business, that makes me want to have my own cars. It's time for us to get off the grid, you know what I mean? It's time to stop sitting here being company drivers and be our own boss. We making everybody else rich. It's time to invest in our own business and get our own money. And I'm going to speak this and I'm going to be real with this right here. Me being a black man, they want me to be a statistic. They want me to sit in jail. They want me to be a failure. But you know what? You ain't going to get this black man right here to be a failure. You feel me? Because my work ethics is insane. And that's what it is. You ain't going to get this black man locked up and, 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 and have me fail. And you ain't going to make me a number because I refuse to be a statistic. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. This trucking industry, I ain't grow up, you know, my great granddaddy and his daddy and your daddy. Or my, you know, my daddy was in the truck. I, well, I found out my dad did trucking. But my dad wasn't around where he... He taught me that, or I seen him with a truck. Never that. So, for me to be in a, for me to be in the black man and coming out of the hood and coming from a city where they don't respect our CDLs, New York City, New York State, they don't respect New York in general as a trucking state. So, for me to be the most inspirated, the most dedicated, I gotta show people like, no matter where you come from. It don't matter where you come from. It's how you come. And I'm going to come hard. And I'm going to take this truck and thing to the top. And I don't care how anybody feel. We in this game to stay. 
And that's just what it is. And you know what? I'm taking all the knowledge. And I'm going to try to get all the knowledge. And I'm going to share the knowledge. I'm going to devote my life to make sure that my people come up and we eat. It's time to get off these corners. It's time to put that bud down. It's time to get in the game, get focused, and get our minds right. It's time to get our kids straight. For real. And if you with me, thumbs this video up. This is your boy Sinister, you already know, New York City Drama Tales and Lifestyle Part 4. You know what I mean? Stay tuned, Part 5 coming up, and I'm going to roll these out like clockwork. Bang, your boy Sinister Man coming straight from the BX, you already know. So all, my, all, my, all the fellas out there, I feel your pain. Stand tall, stand up, hold your head up, and don't let them make you a statistic no more. Let's get it. You want it? Let's get it. Peace out.